Hi, I'm Matt Lieb. And I'm Vince Mancini. And this is Pod, Pod Yourself a Gun, a hates, Sopranos podcast. He hates it when I, I do, that. do every time. It's a Sopranos podcast where we go into every single episode of HBO's hit and critically acclaimed series, The Sopranos. And we talk about it. That's right. We deconstruct, you know, we talk about the the film, the art, the mise-en-scene, all of the good film stuff, you know, because yeah. we're, uh, we know a thing or two this about This intro is making me want to jump off a bridge but, in New Jersey. Hey, no spoilers. <laughs> Vin McKay's it over here. But uh, yeah, you just heard the voice of our guest, uh, a frequent podcast guest and also great friend of ours, Joey Devine. How are you doing, sir? Hi, I'm good. Hell uh, yeah. I love The Sopranos. It's my favorite show ever. So. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh easily. It's one of the greatest. Far. One of yeah, the greatest. It's easily the best show. Yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. I, you know, I was worried uh, before asking you i didn't ask whether or not you actually like the show and i assume that people like the show most of the time because it's just one of those shows that it's like it's not even there's yet to be a thing where it's cool to hate it right like i haven't mm -hmm. heard any because i have a lot of contrarian friends you know Mm -hmm. Uh, i mean you'd think we'd have seen there probably has been like that uh piece on you know, somewhere on the internet. Yeah, yeah. There's somewhere on the internet. There's some person who's going to die like on Mother the hill. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Of, of like I'm the one person who hates The Sopranos, and fuck that person. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad you like it because yeah. uh, I don't know if you know this about me and Vin- uh, Vince, but we love this show. I assumed based on the fact that you have a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dedicated yeah. solely to watching solely it. Solely to just watching the show, yeah. and just hanging out with other people who like it. Have you had any guests yet who? Uh, have never watched the show i was gonna say i've asked some people to be on the show and they're like i've never watched it is that okay and that's better you should do that yeah yeah that's yeah. what i was thinking too but i tried all i also tried not to do that thing where i'm like oh my god how have you never seen this <laughs> oh what are you fucking stupid <laughs> yeah. oh i didn't know I, I was friends with an idiot yeah, yeah no one wants to be that person no I, I i'm jealous of people who have never seen it because it's just one of those things where it's like I am always looking for another show to get into, yeah. you know, and and to have like just that as a uh, white space in mm-hmm. your head for stuff you haven't seen. That's amazing. See, yeah. I don't want to watch any more new shows. I oh, just yeah? want to rewatch. Well, that's because you, you stuff like this. Yeah. Well, rewatching, but also you enjoy uh, a lot of the kind of more disposable content. You like uh, reality shows. Uh, right? I like cooking shows. Cooking shows. But I, guess. I, like, I like cooking. Reality. Well, yeah. I like cooking and foreign reality shows. Yeah. Like you yeah. got to watch my tattoo addiction on Netflix. It's about like <laughs> crazy British people getting tattoos <laughs> and they're it? all <laughs> completely insane and like 175% British and it's amazing. That's a lot but of percent. I just yeah. have decided... Pretty recently, I think it was around like episode three of Westworld. I was just like, I don't have room yeah. in my life yeah. for bullshit like this mm. anymore. Yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. This I still like sucks, it. I don't care about And we're the all con- going to yeah. pretend yeah. like it's good. Because here's the funny thing about what we what's happened to us yeah. is like, so in the 80s, the early 80s and 70s, right? Like when like Dallas, like 200 million people watched yeah. like Who Shot JR. Yes. That wasn't because it was a good show. It was it's, because there were four channels. Yeah, there's right. nothing else on. And then when I was a teen, there were 300 channels. Right, cable came out. All of a sudden, you had more options. But now we're back to four channels. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. HBO, Netflix, <laughs> yeah. and like so... Amazon Prime. Like Amazon and, Prime. Like So yeah. like Stranger Things is not good. No. Right. But we all talk about it because it's what's on it's the what's channel. On. Yeah. It's the thing that's it's on. It's the illusion of choice. And what's worse about it is that the idea that we hold it up to cuz like it'll, well, it at used least to be when there was Dallas a, yeah. people were watching it. Yes. Yeah, with with Stranger Things, we actually don't know who's watching it. Yeah. We don't know how many people are watching. We know that there's like people on the internet talking about it. Right. And but that's that's all bots and not, not not to mention that's all bots. like when 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 there was originally five channels like there was no expectation that TV would be good right it mm-hmm. was like TV is bad and we watch it anyway right and yeah. then you know prestige TV and the three hundred channels they gave us this expectation that TV was going to be good mm-hmm. now yeah and I think you know the Sopranos might have been like one of the tips of the spears yeah yeah on that there's a couple of proto things like. Yeah. Uh, like Homicide or like right. NYPD Blue. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Hill Street Blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Larry Sanders. Sure. But yeah. The Sopranos Dream is on. like the... Re- yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The Mind of the Married Man. Arliss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... 
Let's play him the theme song. This is Sopranos time, and now uh, it's time to play the theme song. Pod. 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 Podcast. Pod. 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 Podcast. Hell yeah. Never Welcome get, to the show, everyone. Never gets old. Never, ever. Actually, I think it officially got old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny again. All right, so today's episode of The Sopranos, we watched from season one, episode 11. The episode title is Nobody Knows Anything. And just a quick uh, synopsis I got from IMDb. Following the arrest of his two men, Tony suspects a traitor. Efforts to discover who, however, are stymied. Now, I got to say, I usually Mm. get the episode synopsis from uh, HBO Go. Yeah, that one's a bad one. Yeah, this one was terrible. (laughs) This one told you literally nothing about it. There's two sentences and one of them in the passive voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful writing. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Actually, no, it's one sentence. No, two sentences. I'm sorry. There's two Uh, sentences there. This episode released March 21st, 1999. That's right. Uh, we're going to take the Wayback Machine. It's time for the Wayback Machine. You, wanna, you guys want to know what was happening what was March happening? 21st, 1999? Yes, I do. What was happening in America? Uh, well, it was actually the same night as the 71st Academy Awards. Wow. They went up against the Oscars? They did. You wonder if anybody watched this. I'll bet all the film nerds were tuned into the Oscars. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't so. know. Did we have the capability? I guess we could have recorded it on VHS at that point. Dude, HBO would show a surprise episodes like five times that's in a row that's, that's a good point yeah, that's, that's a good point it would be like it would play once at six they had like once one at eight. show and nine movies yeah 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 it would just be like sopranos sex in the city arliss arliss sopranos sex in the city arliss arliss uh do you guys want to take a guess at what the uh winner of best picture was march 21st 1999 american beauty uh, close. Oh, 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 oh! That was the year uh, yeah. before. Uh, it's uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare in Love. Love. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shakespeare in Love beat Which, out Elizabeth. Uh-huh. Life is beautiful. Saving Private Ryan and The Thin Red Line. Uh, of, the, of those, I think Shakespeare in Love was probably the best. Of you those. know, no fucking way. Uh, yeah, I had to. What's it? What was better? Like Saving the Private. The Thin Red Line is. You know what? I've never seen. Like a. It. Uh, it's. It's, it's like a book. I never saw it. I heard it was bad. But no, I think maybe that was when people. It's a Terrence Malick movie. People didn't understand like, Malick at I mean, that point. You know, it's long and sure. uh, I love long doesn't really have a narrative but it's yeah. incredible but <laughs> like, there's a lot of waving stalks of of, of wheat yeah in and the sun in yeah a, in a war movie like yeah. it's like well I love wheat in my war movies. yeah yeah exactly more wheat and war I say <laughs> uh, uh best actor Roberto Benigni that's yeah. when he, yeah. like, he climbed up the chairs like yeah. a fucking and clown he, person he, uh, yeah. he kissed Halle Berry and, no no that's Adrian Brody Oh yeah, no. Roberto Benigni wanted to make love to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I don't know what the Italian version of of Kunin is, but he, that was <laughs> that was what he did. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm a so thankful to be here. Everybody get a pizza. I got my boo. Yeah, which is you know, I just want to make love to everybody. <laughs> yeah, and everyone's like, oh, look at him. He's I like to munch out of the pussy. <laughs> he's like a cartoon. <laughs> when you're here, you're a family. We are a family. Now and breadsticks are for everyone. Uh, uh, which fits in with uh, the Sopranos theme. Uh, just when I thought I was out, it'll pull me back in. <laughs> uh, best actress, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay, uh-huh. well, whatever. Yeah, Shakespeare in Love. She I actually guess. beat out Kate Blanchett playing a queen, which any, is impressive. Yeah, and also bullshit. And any year that Kate Blanchett is nominated for an Oscar or does a movie, is she is the best actress. I mean, they, they had two people... Uh, nominated for playing Queen Elizabeth this year, which mm-hmm. is interesting. And oh, Judy Dench won Judy in Dench, Shakespeare right. in Love, and she was good, but she's she also in the movie in, for like what ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, but it was a great. 10 she's minutes. the fucking same in everything. Yeah, she's always <laughs> yeah, played the queen. Excellent. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's just like, yeah, but... I say things with ultimate confidence yeah. and have an accent. How Listen. is that different than Kate Blanchett? How is that different Blanchett than, is than Robert De Niro? Blanchett is a fucking weirdo, though. Yeah, Blanchett is a weirdo. She's a poor oh, man's uh, Tilda Swinton. Wow, kill yourself. <laughs> you are incorrect. Yeah. Swinton over Blanchett. I mean, I'm a Winslet over Blanchett, mm. but... Uh, Winslet over Blanchett? Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. You're, you guys are fucking insane. You start your own Winslet <laughs> podcast. This Blanchett is just goes up there and she starts showboating. It's like, all right, settle down. <laughs> she's this, amazing. You, you can't. She's ama- like, she's one of those actresses where she's you're great. like, well, you, she's definitely working hard. I don't know if it's like believable. You don't see the work. <laughs> yeah. All you see is the character. I see the work. She's a chameleon. Winslet's fun. Um, That's what I like about Winslet. Fun. I think she's good. There's I a just... weirdo streak like Blanchett, but yeah. also like, but with she's restraint? like, I'm fun. Yeah. And yeah. like, there's a lot more. Uh, like, restraint. She's yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, She's a high rent BBC actress. Okay, at best. so the You're top nuts. <laughs> the, the top movie uh, this week was Forces of Nature with Sandra mm. Bullock and Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Yeah. Oh wow! I was working at a video store, and I can. That's one of the covers I can just see in my mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Ben Affleck in a suit. There's like green and yeah. like fake rain. It looks like he's being like blown away. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Ben Holmes was about to get married. <laughs> I love you more. No, I love you more. Okay, I have to go because I just made another passenger nauseous. But on the way to his wedding... God, yeah, I miss these trailers. Something happened. <laughs> Mardi Gras happened? <laughs> He uh, plays Ben? Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. Oh. No, I'm on. You are a god. Mm. Who's that? It's just one of the other passengers from the flight. It, no, nothing's wrong. He saved my life. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get a rental car. No cars. You should have called as soon as you got off the plane. Oh, why didn't I think of that? So Ben Affleck Ugh. chooses Sandra Bullock over Mara Tierney. Oh, mm. which is a, a big mistake. Yeah. Mara Tierney rules, dude. Yeah, she She's rules. Pretty good. She's she also hot. didn't marry a Nazi. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's very true. Uh, that but, I know of. You know, I think she divorced the Nazi, though. Speaking yeah. of marrying people, you know, and Kate Winslet, yeah. I just remembered something that I is it, had not realized. Do you know what her husband's name is? Kate Winslet? Yeah. No. It's Ned Rock and Roll. <laughs> no, it's yeah, yeah, not. yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> She married Ned Rock and yeah, Roll? Yeah, yeah. I think it's Ned, but his last name is Rock and Roll. He it's changed a... his last name to Smith, according to the latest headline. <laughs> that is an oxymoron. You can't be Ned and Rock and Roll. <laughs> That's a great name. That's Ned like a... Rock and Roll? I'm sure it's not his given name. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounds like fucking Ned. Yeah, Flanders. it is Ned Rock and Roll. Yeah, yeah. I Ned- can't believe that was it. that. You know how sometimes you remember things that you knew, and you're like, "Why am I not thinking about that constantly?" Yeah, all that the just time. happened to me. She, uh, she they are they a, still together? They're still together. They have a son named Bear Blaze. I now, <laughs> I now pronounce you. Mrs. Rock and Roll. He's the least rock and roll looking person. They have a yeah, son. He's a Ned. I don't think you guys are. Oh, that is Ned. Acknowledging Ned is that fun. they have a son named Bear Blaze Rock and Roll. Wait, no. <laughs> yes. Bear Blaze Rock and Roll. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a donut. <laughs> yeah, like a terrible voodoo donut with like Fruit Loops on top yeah. and too much frosting. Oh, uh, can I get the uh, Bear Blaze Rock and Roll, please? <laughs> um, Sounds like a fucking sushi roll. Uh, it's the uh, top songs. Yeah. Um, were uh, Believe by Cher. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you believe in life after love? Do you? That's a whole, the question. A whole song about, <laughs> I think it's about Sonny Bono hitting a tree. Mm. Ooh. Is it not? I Maybe. I think it's about how cool it is to be gay all the time. You know oh. what I mean? It's like a real, that's like one of, that and like Madonna's <laughs> Ray of Light were the first time America was like, you know what? You know what's cool? Gay music is fucking cool. You know what's cool? <laughs> Being gay all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, we hard. had enough distance from the from AIDS so we were like, yeah, it's good again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like curable. And so people were like, you know what's cool? This all the time. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, that's about it. Oh, wait, no. Top rap song was uh, It Ain't My Fault 1 and 2 by Silk the Shocker featuring Mystical. Uh huh. I gotta I think be that's honest, the worst. I don't know that song. I think that's. I think the No Limit era was the worst era of rap. It, it sounds like a bad era. It's bad. That is, I do not know it that. It was when like it stopped being cool to rap like on the beat and you kind of oh. just like said words uh, like off That's time. coming back, dude. Silk well, yeah. the Shocker's like a great rap name, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's it a great one. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a great name. Um, okay. Well. What's the rock song? That's, is it like a... Oh, the rock song is a Heavy by Collective Soul. It's okay. been the top yeah. song for like <laughs> the last seven weeks. <laughs> yeah. It was on there for like 20 weeks or Didn't, something. Wasn't there a Collective Soul song that happened? Uh, yeah, Heavy. It, it was in The Sopranos. Oh, yeah. No? Well, th- I, at some point. At some point remember. this season, there was Collective Soul. Collective Soul, honestly, you know, people uh, forget about them, but... Uh, they were not like, good. No, they were fine. They were kind of like... If Nick, they were like if Nickelback sucked less. Like, they got yeah. the amount of radio play as Nickelback, but they were, like, mildly Yeah, but they're acceptable. also like, what if Third Eye Blind was less poppy and yeah, was, like, yeah. fake hard? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Third Eye Blind, I mean, by song, the way. Song is called Heavy. Uh, yeah. new, new album coming out soon. Yeah. I'm very. We gotta excited get for. to your friend Stephen Jenkins. We on gotta the show. get Stephen Jenkins on. Yeah, he could talk about The Sopranos and how he used to fuck one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. It's great. She used to sit on my dick. It felt so fucking good when I was just come. I come so fucking hard, dude. <laughs> So, right. I forget that this podcast is not supposed <laughs> to be the podcast. At some point, we might get advertisers. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Sit on my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let's talk about this. A lot of, lot of Bada B stories here. Number one. Uh, this is the. Wait, I think, can I get? Can, can I do the B stories? I got them all. Oh like, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. them listed succinctly. Oh, okay, do it. Uh, Pussy is a snitch. Yup. Yeah. Uh, Vin McKazian's depressed. Yep. Livia is a pill, mm-hmm. but secretly likes the nursing home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming out of her shell. She's a late bloomer. Uh-huh. Uh, Pussy has a bad back. Yep. Uh, Debbie is a hooker or a madam with a heart of gold. That's right. Uh, and Junior wants to whack Tony. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. Question mark. Because we don't know. Yeah. This is uh, very much so a setup episode. You forgot a. You forgot one. What's that? Um, it's a. Uh... Mickey Barizzi's, uh he doesn't know how coffee is made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. he can't believe that the coffee isn't made as yeah, soon yeah. as he says make the coffee. Yeah, and then he's also confused why she's not making coffee. It's yeah, really yeah. funny. It's really Wait, funny. Wait, you mean Mikey Palmese? M- oh, sorry, Mikey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sorry, yeah. Mike. Look, I'm not in this. I'm jumping back in after a year. <laughs> no, it's Episode fine. 11. I took it as fact. I yeah. was like, yeah, I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I thought I'd forgotten. Mikey, one. yeah. Mikey Paul. Mikey Mason. is like a great prick. Yeah, like, oh, he's oh. one of my... I was so happy to see him. Yeah. Because it's a pretty... This episode is relatively light on like my favorite side characters. Right. Like there's no no Hunter... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, Artie. Yeah, and then he showed up, and I was like, "Thank God, we're getting, yeah, so, we're getting one of these he's guys." Great. He is like the Newman of the Sopranos. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. kind of Tony's like frenemy. He's like, "Hello, Mikey." <laughs> Yeah. And I like the barely disguised disdain with uh, which uh, they always deal with each other. <laughs> oh yeah, and and also I do love the fact that uh, Tony just goes off on him all the time. Like yeah. so much violence happens towards Mikey, mm-hmm. and and uh, it's just it's wonderful to watch. I'm trying, I'm looking up his Twitter right now. I'm trying to remember if he is one of the Sopranos MAGA guys. I just assume they all are. Yeah, come um, on. I guess it's a bit of some trivia from this episode. Uh, episode writer Frank Renzulli, uh-huh. uh, he actually played Mickey Ward's manager Sal Lenano in The Fighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, Great. fun. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's a very prolific um, TV screenwriter. He's yeah. written for all sorts of TV shows that you may have heard of or not. Oh, you're not going to name them or anything. Uh, let's see. No, fuck it. Scorpion. <laughs> all right. Uh, Damien. Like all these uh, movie adaptations. Ray Donovan, The Walking Dead, Henry's Law, Crash, the TV show. Oh, Heist, yeah. Crossing Jordan, uh, The Cactus Kid, That's Life, uh, The Practice, Charlie Grace, The Great Defender, Duckman, Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego? My Father the Hero. Oh, Duckman? he wrote My Father the Hero? Which one's My Father the Hero? It sounds- oh, he didn't write it, but he was in it. Uh, as an actor my okay. father the hero is the one where uh katherine heigl is a 14 year old girl uh who's coming into her sexuality and gerard depardieu is her father oh and he's i do know that one yeah 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 it's a weird gerard depardieu movie yeah he doesn't like and he, so he tries to be his daughter's hero, hero. yeah i remember yeah. that <laughs> yeah, yeah. My Turns father. out heroes can be drunk. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> heroes don't wear capes, but or drink a underpants. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Some um, heroes' noses are swelling yeah. constantly from all of these. Yeah, I've never <laughs> seen someone get more French, <laughs> but he, 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 every year Gerard Depardieu gets more French in the face. Mm-hmm. Like the more he drinks wine, the Frenchier he gets. Yeah, he's like a he's like a like a Looney Tunes character who sniffs wine and yeah. his nose gets bigger. <laughs> and, like, oh, oh, oh. and he's like kind of racist a little bit. Yeah, no, seriously, he gets more racist. He's the size of Vichy France. <laughs> I, uh, I think Vichy France was the same size as regular France. No? Well, Vichy was a town in France. That, oh, the right. puppet I thought you meant Nazi the, government. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't I mean thought all meant, of France. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's ridiculous. He can't be the size of all of France. <laughs> yeah, that's the size silly. of a town. Absolutely, okay. that's within reason. Uh, uh, so, uh, ge- general thoughts on the episode. General thoughts. It was a big setup episode, and uh, you know, I felt a little bad. We did bring. Uh, Joey into it into one of those episodes where I mean you're not in the middle of a rewatch right, right now. I At, thought it was still entertaining I, as a standalone oh, for sure, one hundred percent. But it does not exist as a standalone. It's definitely exists to make you want to binge the next one. Yeah, I was. I'm lucky enough. I think this is like the fifth or sixth time I've seen this episode. I've yeah. watched the first season of The Sopranos probably six times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think this is the one one of the first episodes in which the writers uh, had the confidence that people were going to watch the next one yeah and had watched the previous mm-hmm. one sure like a, a lot of the previous ones it's kind of like all right we got to nail them with this one so yeah. they keep coming back you yeah know? yeah yeah for sure this one they knew well we've gotten this far at this point we can do a setup episode this one is not as funny as no. a lot of the no it's not no episodes. it's not it's a very drama it's kind of a bummer one in mm-hmm. fact. well yeah there's a suicide that happens all right especially if you know what's happening it's like yeah Especially to jump in at episode 11, it's like, oh, man, this is the one where... Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, now I have to deal with two super depressing guys whose storylines I know (laughs) that are going to happen between Pussy and... uh, Good old Vic. Oh, Vin. Vin. Vin, Vin. Vin McKay's yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the Italian guy with my first name, or the <laughs> Armenian guy with my first name is also like a depressive drunk. I Perfect. Oh, man. Uh, but other thoughts. Uh, there was boobs in like the very opening yeah, scene. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's classic early HBO yeah, where it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Just reel them in with titties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is yeah. this like, this is the one that kids could stay up late and maybe jerk off to? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> was this the most, this might be the most boob filled Sopranos episode so far. Um, you mean because of just that opening? There was the opening, and then there was like, a, like when they're getting the arrested. First, first yeah, four minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're in a strip club. Also, yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess there's, yeah, there, it's it's pretty boob heavy uh, for sure, but uh, also drama heavy. So yeah. it's funny because I uh, I watched this episode at work today. Uh, and uh, it was like one well, of the Robert De Niro is going to sue you. Oh yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I heard about that. apparently Robert De Niro is suing an ex-employee for watching fifty-five hours of Friends <laughs> in like six 50, days, five, fifty-five episodes. Oh, okay. okay, so yeah, those yeah. are like twenty. 20- two minute episodes yeah 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 uh but yeah i mean honestly robert de niro fuck yourself <laughs> like yeah. we, we gotta do something at robert work. de niro is officially a cop now <laughs> yeah 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 and he's canceled uh but yeah um I, I watched it at work and yes i did a few times go oh i can't there's too many boobs but uh <laughs> yeah but i powered through dude i powered through. Uh, oh, that's, good. that's the story of story of my life story of perseverance yes it sure is um so this is uh, so basically, uh, y- this sets up this narrative about uh, Pussy that not only is he possibly a snitch, but he also has this bad back, and the bad back is kind of used as an excuse a bunch of times, and mm-hmm. it made me wonder: uh, is the bad back made up, or did it just come at kind of a perfect? No, it's time? psychosomatic. Yeah, he yeah. explained they. Uh, well, they talk totally about kind of figures that out. Yeah, they talk about how it could be a psychosomatic thing based on stress. Yeah, uh, but it also which seems... bad backs often are. Is it really? Yeah, absolutely. It's usually they're not physical because it seems to me like a physical well, thing. They can be both, but like yeah. definitely stress uh, contributes to a bad back oh. and like dealing with mm-hmm. your mental issues, uh, personal problems. Like it can help your back. Ask Brendan about that. He goes to the. Yeah, but he's also an ex football player. <laughs> yeah, but he goes to like someone who he goes he goes to a therapist, like not like who a cures physi- his back. Physical, yes, yes, absolutely. A therapist, like a talk therapist. Yep, and it cures his bad back. Yep. Oh, man. So he says. All right, all right. Me, I did yoga, but yeah, yoga know. helps a lot. Yeah. Um. 
So yeah, he is. This is setting him up uh, versus Jimmy as like who is the snitch? Yeah, which is uh, and it's an interesting way that they play because we the, we the audience know that Big Pussy's a snitch. I forgot. Do you guys know at this point? Yes, they okay. showed oh, yeah. us. They've showed a uh, uh, Big Pussy talking to the feds. In I previous love episodes. that hilarious. Fed. No, no, they have not. Yes, they have. When? Yeah, earlier in the season, we saw him talking to the feds like a couple of episodes ago. You do? You see him yeah. talking to the feds? Yeah. Oh, interesting. and so they play it like oh yes, and so. So uh, one of the interesting like questions, yeah. I don't know if it's a question, whatever, it's whatever. Um, so in the beginning, uh, they're at the party at uh, at the Sopranos house. Yeah. And, you know, Carmela's uh, wondering why uh, Livia is not showing up. Yeah. And uh, and Big Pussy's there. And they want and to says, move a piano. I got to go home and sit in the tub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then later in the episode, uh, Polly tries to take him to get a schvitz. Yeah. And he says, I can't be in the heat. Uh, you know, because I got high blood pressure, and I might check out. So if Tony and Polly like actually had talked about that more yeah. fully, they would have realized, mm-hmm. yeah, that he was lying at that point. Cause yeah, the tub and the Schwitz, probably the same so, thing. But was that to imply that he, it's to imply that he's wearing a wire? But where was he coming from that he would have been wearing a wire? Uh, I think to see that, I, th- I think that's interesting. Is, that they left it sort of ambiguous. They definitely left it ambiguous enough that. Tony and Polly would wonder, right? You know, if he was, was wearing a wire. Really, but is he wearing a wire all the time? He's just wherever yeah, he goes. Probably goes to McDonald's wearing a fucking wire. Jeez, I, I don't mean, know. Uh, I mean, at that sad. point, you'd think they could like sew it into the lining of the shirt or something. I mean, luckily, yeah. you guys are going to get into more wire stuff here in a <laughs> yeah. few, uh, in an episode or in two. our next podcast yeah. about the, <laughs> the wire. <laughs> yeah, it'd be called Pod, Pod yourself, yourself a Wire. wire. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> we did it at the same time. Um, yeah, so jokes aren't that original. No, why would they have to be? Uh, what I love uh, is, again, I love watching Vin Mikazian, uh getting shit on by Tony. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way he sums up his life. I got a, I got a, a clip, couple clips of that. Oh, yeah. Great. Uh, do you want the first first instance of Tony being mean or the second? I think follow your heart. He's so mean to him. He's so, He's so mean. So mean. better be good I was taking my kid fish ah oh, jesus what no how you been how's it doing then what do you think i, I, I thought you... we understood each other right i don't give two shits about you or your family or what are you taking up the ass now what's so important you take me away from my boat hey fuck face where are you going when are you gonna talk to me like this you know i do a lot of risky shit for you hey, you're not doing charity work remember Vin just wants a friend, and Tony, he can't respect a cop. Yeah, no, he doesn't respect him because he's a degenerate gambler. It's less the cop part and more the gambler you part. You think? Okay. Tony yeah, he hates gamblers he hates, more than like... He, ha- he hates anyone with kind of like an uh, a vice that they can't control. Anyone right. who is in any way uh, unable to control some like destructive instinct it's which is hilarious thing. because he's the ultimate destructive instinct uh, exactly. in his own life exactly it's it's yeah. what it's what he hates in himself so whenever he sees like anyone struggling with addiction whether it's the gambling or drugs he like he just can't stand it you know and mm-hmm. uh because it reflects poorly on on his own uh, insecurities do you want to hear the second instance of Tony? i being absolutely here? would love to that's pretty good you know i told you that i would do what i could but this is dea feds task force this is not as easy as you think getting my hands on the 302 now you listen to me this is the most serious fucking decision i've ever had to make in my life and i need proof i'm not gonna hurt a man that i love question <clears throat> have you or have you ever heard anyone say now you listen to me like before they start in with a statement i mean never n- not anyone uh who's not italian <laughs> I think I have. Okay. It okay. feels like I think I've heard either like a teacher or a cop say it yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you listen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this park says no dogs allowed. That's like a thing that Paul like uh, the the Obama version of this would be make no mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now see here. No, he doesn't say that. Did I just invent that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Now, that was see like, here. Also, your vo- <laughs> the, the impression was very strange. Uh, uh, now, see here. Uh, as you know, my name is uh, yeah, Barack like Obama, Elvis. the uh, king. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, not all impressions have to be no, good. No, I mean, I want to hear Barack Presley. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> you ain't uh, nothing. All right, let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> Kill me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Vin- oh, go ahead. Because of some cop gossip from a degenerate fucking gambler with a badge. You understand me? You know, you got an amazing ability to sum up a man's whole life in a single sentence. Degenerate gambler with a badge. Huh? You're a pisser. You're a real... I like that uh, in fiction, Mm -hmm. whenever someone commits suicide, it's always because someone was mean to them in the previous scene. Yeah, Mm yeah, 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 yeah. Like in in A Star is Born. Yeah, right. I mean, like Bradley Cooper is, you know, a degenerate alcoholic, but if if her manager hadn't told him basically to kill himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would just be best if you just decided to... Kill yourself. <laughs> Have you ever thought about doing that? Oh, I guess I guess he's right. Because here's the thing: with you alive, you're damaged good. I hate that you're right. If I you, am a drunk, and think about how good of a movie it would make <laughs> for your great wife. Worst part of the movie. Oh, I'm from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that was an Australian. Uh, he was hella mean to him, and then he kills himself. But I think he doesn't. He doesn't kill himself because no. Tony's mean to him. He kills himself because his life is miserable. Yeah, because he got <laughs> arrested in the fucking shower, so- and he was like, "Well." That's it for old Vin McCasey. A doop a doo, right? Doop a doop well, right off the bridge. No, no, but that's not. That's not it either. It's like he says at the beginning when he's talking about that brothel that yeah. it's like the only place he feels safe and right. loves. Even and though he still second, hates hookers. Right. While he's yeah, at yeah, the yeah. Second he to the shower. He only likes that lady. But no, so it's spoiled. The one good thing in his That's life true. is spoiled. That's true. Yeah. He got arrested at the one place he liked. Yeah. 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 In the one thing he, he liked. By the way, that feels very Magachad to me where it's like, yeah. I only like the the madam. <laughs> yeah. Not these not these classless hookers walking it's around. This, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, you guys have no class. <laughs> yeah. I hang out with the madam. It's like, that's the guy who hung out with the teacher at parties <laughs> <laughs> at the school. you are just yeah. like, me and the teacher are going to talk about politics. Politics. Sometimes I accidentally call her mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. No, I, that's uh, there's multiple reasons he killed himself, so, obviously. But I think that him killing himself uh, is one of those things in this show that is like the re- re- repeating motif of just depression and suicide. Yeah, and kind of like uh, I, there was that scene at the very end where Tony's hanging over that bridge where he killed himself, and there's part of me. That just goes like, you know, Tony is uh, in the way like he's that's the easy way out. And he and part of him was like, God, that would be so relaxing. Yeah. If I were just dead. I mean, the, the whole show, like in pitch and most of the first season execution feels very much like it was conceived by someone who had just discovered therapy and gotten like really narcissistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, you know, that's what it's about. Right. Yeah. Well, you got to work on yourself before yeah. you think about other people. Yeah, exactly. First work on yourself and then continue working on yourself and then find out better ways to manipulate people in your life <laughs> yeah. and then get mad at your therapist and um, kill yourself. So uh, one, one of the questions I have about the bust scene... Well, by the way... I want to talk about a scene really quickly. Go ahead. Bef- yeah. I think this episode has the worst fart noise I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, my it. God, right? Like the, the fart noises that Big Pussy is making for reasons that are like not very not, well explained. Not it's sure not like why. Having a bad back... I don't think makes you just fart constantly and uncontrollably. I mean, but psychosomatic stress <laughs> would give you stomach That's problems. That's true. You Fair would point. have the shit. So maybe that was like, and you know, they kind of allude to that in uh, Aid. Uh, you know, Chris's uh, girlfriend, Aid, had stomach issues mm-hmm. and had the shits when she was going through what she You're was going through. You're jumping way ahead. Uh, I, yeah, and, yeah. I, and I don't want to mean to jump ahead for all of our listeners who have decided not to watch The Sopranos until they hear episodes <laughs> of this show, which by the way, there's no way you're still doing that. Uh. <laughs> when it's time for an adventure on the open highway, one quick call to American Family Insurance gets you headed in the right direction. Our travel peace of mind package is there if you encounter a bump in the road. From roadside assistance to rental car coverage, we have you covered. Find a local agent or get a quote at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. 
American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI, and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. But yeah, um, so it could be that. But yeah, just in general, the, the fart noises. It were... sounds like a like a sound machine. There was oh, like they lot. held a fart machine to a microphone. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. Was, there was a lot of cartoony shit in this. Didn't you think the bust scene was cartoony? So Okay, so I got a clip of that. And yeah. yes, I do. And the question I had about it is, why are the cops busting the place where like the dirty cop hangs out. You'd think he of all people yeah. would A, know about a bust coming yeah. and B, would have known who to pay off to avoid someone busting up his favorite brothel. Oh, I'm talking about the, the, the uh, that scene as well, but the other bust that oh, happens with the early hilarious on. rock music that uh, kicks oh, in yeah, before yeah. the... Like, where, where, well, like, the cops are all very much like 30s Shecky Green. Yeah, uh, exactly. I, got, I don't have that one, but I do have the bust at the... Okay, um, go ahead. Yeah. Why don't you take it easy with us? I would think a whole like a little pain. Come on, take it easy. Benny, stop it. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Look at this. A doctor, madam, wise guy, and a cop. That's what I call a vice superfecta. Hey. Hey. There's a lot of jokes like that in this episode where it's like weirdly like uh cat skills comedian yeah yeah it does it feels like they're about to like put them in a paddy wagon it, it, just, <laughs> yeah. it felt very yeah come on you schnooks <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> get Nin- in here 1930s gangster yeah. movie shit i mean man you thought you should get away with it huh and then we also have the uh what is the 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 tv anchor who's like i don't know uh, what's yeah. embarrassing the madam or the wise guy i mean that's true to because all tv anchors are that's like true they, stifled they, pack comedians yeah yeah that's true but that like there's the scene where Tony goes to visit Pussy. Yeah. And he's doing <laughs> jokes like that. And I love that scene yeah. because, yeah, like, yeah. the, like, underlying joke of that scene is, like, uh, even this guy's kid has to pretend Tony Soprano yeah, is hilarious yeah. because they're all so scared of him. And, <laughs> and, and, and he's the, telling, like, the <laughs> worst jokes. He's like, hey, uh, are you taking you, up space? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's also, the the other subtext of that is that the way that you rise in the mafia is that you're the best at dad jokes. Yeah, which, yeah. Like, no, feels honestly, true. That, that's a section in this show which yet... <laughs> Is as we have yet to get a bumper for, which is dad jokes. Right. Because yeah, every fucking one. episode, there is a, just a fucking gem of a dad joke in yeah. there. I feel like there's, you can make. Pot like, if I know. <laughs> I feel like there's like an amazing super cut you could make of just people <laughs> pretending Tony Soprano <laughs> yeah. is funny. <laughs> and then it would end with that one scene later in the season where he's watching everyone laugh at a shitty joke and it's in slow motion. Yeah. 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 And he's just, it's the first time he ever realized, wait, am I not funny? <laughs> have <laughs> you ever done that like on stage uh, yes, where you tell like a joke that you no longer think is funny and yeah. then people laugh at it and you're like, and in your head you're like, these people are scum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking piggies. <laughs> just lap it up, you fucking piggies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it, it it is. It, 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 I kind of felt like that joke and the fart. And like a lot of this is like tension breaking. Yeah. Like there's a lot of tension because it's a very tense episode. Yeah. And so there's a lot of weird attempts at people trying to break tension. And sometimes it's like comes off as clunky, like the fucking fart, yeah. which is just like what? Why? But sometimes, sometimes it really works. And I want to go. I want to go back to the bust. Yeah. Because or not? The, I guess it's before the bust. It's yeah. when it's when Big Pussy like is screaming about his back. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we'll get Doctor Mop and Glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah right. That's and right. It's a shirtless guy. <laughs> he's like, he's like a real a, doctor in a nurse's bonnet. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hey, somebody need a doctor. <laughs> yeah. They have this weird thing where it's like their their idea of what kinks are are completely based on serial serial killers and cartoons. <laughs> yeah. So you're just like, oh, I'm in a I'm in a fucking you know French maids outfit. I mean, like, this was before Pornhub, where you knew what everybody's yeah, kinks were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it had been fucking, it was like, oh, bring, bring in Dr. Piss Pig. And it, it's just <laughs> some guy covered in urine who's just like, I'm, don't worry, I'm a doctor. But also, I think a Let lot of... Let me take of, a urine sample. <laughs> I think a lot of the broadness of this show is actually part of its, like... Yeah. Brilliance, where it's like yeah. the sugar that's letting the American public get, like, the... The medicine that's hey the baby boomers have ruined America yeah 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 yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. no it's necessary yeah, it's, yeah. And, and also uh, it's uh, in terms of humor uh, it's like one of the sharpest funniest yeah. shows ever oh I think it's it's funnier than most comedy it's Absolutely. funnier than most comedy I'm gonna play you my favorite comedic sequence of this episode yeah go which ahead. is of course. 
Polly Walnuts, who of course. is easily the funniest. I can't oh, believe King, King of the I can't jokes. believe we're getting another Matrix movie, but not like a Polly spinoff I know. of The Sopranos. I know. <laughs> told him someone owes you money. Even if you got a crawl, you get it. I even told him to give me his list on who owes what, and I'll collect the fucking thing. What'd he say? He just nodded like a fucking retard. Yeah, it's those fucking perks. He's throwing them in his mouth like they're M&Ms. And there isn't even anything wrong with his bank. What do you mean? Remember when that guy hit me in the head with that pool cue and I fucked my neck up? <laughs> yeah, down to shore. Right. Hey, I went Let's to go. this doctor. This guy works on the Jets' front line when they get hurt. Hot so. Yeah, he's fucking like the Jonas Salk of bats. Anyway, I sent pussy to this doctor. The guy gives him the works. MRIs, CAT scans, dog scans, you name it. And he says there's not a fucking thing wrong with his back. And again, he says, uh, when it comes to banks, nobody knows anything, really. <laughs> hey! I mean, that's a perfect, that's a perfect And that's sequence. the name of the episode. There's like three great, three great jokes in there. The oh, Jonas yeah. Salka backs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cat scans, dog, dog scans, scans, everything. Yeah. And just getting hit in the neck with a pool cue. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, remember when that happened? Of course I did. <laughs> Down by the shore. Uh, <laughs> See, I think the funniest scene in this episode is actually yeah. Carmela and the mom. Yeah, because it's the you rarely ever see Carmel like just Carmela and the mom, and they purposely do this thing where the mom does everything she always does to Tony, but yeah. it doesn't work, and yeah. you can like see her spin out, and yeah, she's like, yeah. "But I'm not having sex with Uncle Junior." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she flips. And, and that- I got that clip too, if you want. To oh yeah, yeah. So please. interesting thing about that scene. Yeah, I don't know if I if I didn't. I couldn't find any like uh, trivia about this, but it seemed like they shot the two shot of them, mm-hmm. and then the rest of the scene. I don't think they're in the same room. I think they shot the, the whole rest of it separately because yeah. their lines never really overlap. You never see each other in the same room this after is that. A thing that and happens this is a lot like, with Livia, and this is like Livia was getting sick. Like the actress who mm-hmm. played was Livia was sick. actually getting sick in real life. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, there was something there where they she couldn't be on the set I for that long. I could see that, but I also could see that being like a choice where it's like mm-hmm. the reason Michael Mann always says he filmed the Heat Diner scene the way he did is he wanted them to feel very separated. Yeah. Um, and he regrets it because now everyone's like they weren't in the same room. Like <laughs> yeah, Al Pacino yeah. and Robert. But that scene is so adversarial that actually yeah. might be a choice. It could, could be. be. Yeah. It could be. But they definitely yeah. were helping because I know that she was sick uh, around now and she remained sick throughout the second season. And uh, they definitely did things. where, In fact, this episode has uh, a line that Livia says uh, to Junior where he goes, now, I don't like that sort of talk now stop it it upsets me and they use that exact scene with that exact film uh later in season three mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah when she has see when she dies of cgi poisoning when she dies of cgi <laughs> yeah, poisoning. Yeah. yeah and and so yeah i do think they did uh they did use other here's some of that yeah. if you want to hear it look i didn't come by to argue i came by to check on you and to bring you the regret if you don't want it, you can give it to Junior, because I know he stops by a lot. She's my husband's brother. <laughs> she can't check that up on me once insane. in a while. Yeah. That's none of anybody's business. Oh, my God. I am not saying that. All I am saying is if you don't want it, give it to Junior. I know what you're hinting at. Ma, there is nothing wrong with companionship. What is wrong? <laughs> so funny. Oh. Wait until you're abandoned. Oh. Oh. She's so like my grandma. Like I don't, like they must. I don't know if all Italian ladies, old Italian <laughs> ladies, are like the exact same. Yeah. But with like the Kleenex that she clearly <laughs> refuses to get, like a new Kleenex. No, She's using a... the Kleenex like it's a handkerchief. No, that's her drama Kleenex. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but like when I when my grandma died and we went to clean out her house, there was one of her drawers that was just filled with like old Kleenexes because yeah. like I don't know they're insane and they, yeah. they like hoard everything yeah, yeah, and, like yeah. I don't know I might use this Kleenex again yeah yeah you never know you never know when your you daughter-in-law is gonna come over she might need Kleenex <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so I wanted to ask. So there's a scene later uh, at Green Grove where Tony is talking to the lady who, the madam of mm-hmm. Green Grove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the lady who talks like this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she was the worst actress in this episode. <laughs> yeah, very bad. She's very bad. Uh, I'm sure she got better with time. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, where she mentions the fact that uh, Livia has done kind of a 180. And mm-hmm. she She's not in the room. Yeah. I wanted to tell her. House went into escrow. She's with the other girls getting aqua therapy. My mother? The physical therapist told her if she didn't get any exercise, her back was going to arch like an old lady. I didn't even know she owned a bathing suit. She's more connected to the world. Which one? This one or Neptune? (laughs) No. Boom, dad joke. Yeah, very good. But doesn't she mention the fact that Junior's visits have been helping a lot? Really? I think so. Yes. She does. I think your uncle's visits yeah. has a lot to do with it. Oh, she looks forward to them. So were they like subtly implying that maybe they are fucking? Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like they didn't show it, but are they fucking? Because I you don't think so? Don't think so. They first off, they would have more than straight implied that. Yeah. 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 I think what they're trying to imply there is like What's actually making her feel better is like uh, again having power yeah, over yeah, these yes. fucking assholes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like being, being in charge. In She's the one secretly in charge. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I it's definitely that. She thrives on schemes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and she likes being in the know of yeah. what's going on. And ever since you know uh, her husband Johnny died. She probably has who was a, a saint. Who was a yeah. saint? He was a saint, uh, unquestionably. Uh, that you know, it, she hasn't been in the loop, and Junior is the only one keeping her in the loop. And of course, you know, when she finds out that her house is being sold out from under her, that's when she's like, "Okay, fuck this. Time to you murder know my son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time to murder my son. And you know who else uh, isn't in the loop anymore? Junior, fucking you. Yeah. You know, because uh, they are all meeting behind your back. There's an amazing well no, but she does that on purpose. No, like no, no, she for she sure. knows what that's gonna lead to. She knows what it's gonna yeah. lead to, and I but I, I definitely she, think that she is she was as soon as she found out that th- basically the house is gonna be sold out from under her and then she's like a fucking you know, being discarded like mm-hmm. trash. She's like oh like an old shoe. I'm I'm burning this <laughs> motherfucker down. The old shoe line is so <laughs> yeah. funny. And yeah. there's that line with Junior where she's like I probably won't see any of the money from the house sale. Also, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. sitting in a like, uh, like a retirement home that's probably like the sale of that shitty house will yeah. probably cover a year of. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I definitely think that uh, th- they probably aren't fucking. But then again, Junior got that mouth. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. he got that boca, dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, you think, so you think Junior Soprano? Ate Livia's pussy. <laughs> it could be. One of the questions Probably from uh, the listeners was, uh, if this show was made now, do you think Junior would be into eating ass instead of pussy? 100%. <laughs> and I think it would be uh, an entire storyline and Drake would be involved. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. No, they probably wouldn't have gotten that far. No, old men don't eat ass. Like, we're still, like, we're still several learning years from old men yeah, eating ass. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's still still not legal in most states. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, malapropism corner. Do we got... Oh, uh, I got one. I don't have any. Okay, so the one that I noticed, and le- if you don't count Jonas Salka the Jonas Salka backs. backs, which isn't really <laughs> a malapropism. Really mal- malapropism. It's pretty... But kind of. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, when they're talking about Big Pussy, and he comes in, he's like, oh, your ears must be ringing. Uh, and it's like no, no, your ears are burning, yeah. not ringing. You're... And then, and then you got dog scans. Yeah, well, and then there's I mean, he did the... that a purpose. That you think that deli- was a joke? Yeah, that was a deliberate joke. Uh, no, but AJ has one in the '90s sex scene when they're talking about Bill Clinton. I forget exactly oh, yeah. what it is. Yeah, he says, like, uh, we "Got that?" So we got Monica. wait, 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 wait. But that's for our next segment. <laughs> oh yeah, is, uh, it's that, the '90s. That is for our next segment. Which the bumper came from this episode, which so, is the first way, time this has happened. Yeah. It's the 90s. Parents are supposed to discuss sex with their children. It's the 90s. It's it's the 90s. 90s. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what do we have in this episode? We have Bill Clinton... Uh, yeah, and uh, Kaczynski and the girl with the big nose. Yeah, he says Monica Lewinsky and that broad with the long she nose. She says, Ka- yeah. he oh, says Kaczynski. Kaczynski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a definite malapropism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, other than that, 
Um, well, did you get any anything '90s from this other than just mostly that? Yeah. Other than John Hurt, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the dad from Home Alone. Yeah. So is he also the dad from Clarissa Explains It All? No. Uh, okay. He's a weird. Cre- he's it's he's so good at playing this part, and it's because I think he's actually a like a weird creep. You think so? <laughs> uh, yeah. First off, yeah. he was married to two of Hollywood's craziest women. Really? Oh, really? He Sean was Young? married to Margot Kidder. Oh, okay. For oh, only wow. seven days. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, but then he was married to Melissa Leo for Ooh. a very long time. Uh, Who's and- Melissa Leo? Uh, the mom from The Fighter, uh, oh, Goldie yeah. from uh, what's that? Great actress though. She's a great actress, uh, but she keeps getting fired from things because she's uh, insane, difficult. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, John Hurt is a huge asshole who uh, they got divorced because he punched her. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he has been, and then the case he also here. got uh, arrested at one point for attempting to kidnap their son. Yeah, uh-huh. because but he I was get hanging that. out at their son's school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he is. He well, is Vin McKazian, is what I'm saying. <laughs> let's not Fair. speak ill of the dead, because John Hurd died in uh-huh. 2017. Uh, uh, complications uh, of a back surgery. Oh, yeah. oh, bad back, psychosomatic. Got a bad back from punching broads. Just <laughs> punching broads all day. Oh God, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with us? Uh, but yeah, you know, he committed suicide in the show, and <laughs> so we should not speak ill of poor Vin McKazian. Uh, our favorite Armenian who's That's right. ever existed in fiction <laughs> uh, next to the entirety of System of a Down. <laughs> Is there not They're real? fictional? They're not real. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That ever, makes sense. Have you ever seen the fucking lead singer of, of System of a Down and Osama Bin Laden in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> they look similar. When yeah, I was a kid, okay. I was like, yeah, that guy looked like Bin Laden. Mm. But I, that's not racist because Armenians are white. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> this has been fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, so Gabba Vafangul. I yeah. only I only counted one in this episode. Uh, I mean Regot. I well well yeah that that works. Uh, yeah. and then and then uh, Big Puss says he's got the Maloik. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What what is the Maloik? It's the evil eye. Oh, do we have a Stevie B? And uh, no, because it's not really like a yeah, slang. It's not it's so a much as a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, the Maloik. I was I assumed it was the evil eye, but I mm-hmm. didn't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. He gave him the. Someone put the Maloik on him. You know who it was? The fucking FBI. Dude. That's right. They do that. <laughs> it was the fucking feds. Um, so now the question is, um, when it comes to Jimmy uh, oh. Altieri. Sorry, one more thing. Oh, okay. Go is ahead. I I did want to bring up the fact that this was the first appearance of Polly's uh, car horn. Oh mm-hmm. my God! Yes. Feels a little on the nose, no, but in a way, no, that's it's exactly <laughs> what Polly would have on Polly his horn. Polly Walnuts is on the nose. Yeah, that's yeah. like, yes. Oh my <laughs> god! That scene when he's t- trying to make Pussy take his clothes off is so funny. Why don't you take your clothes? Off? <laughs> Why don't you want to take your clothes off? <laughs> Uh, also, uh, in terms let me of, see a dick, you big fag. And in, in terms of uh, his range as an actor, this is the I think probably this is the top end. This I think. is the top yeah. end because the scene where Tony isn't sure whether or not he killed Big mm-hmm. Pussy, mm-hmm. Uh, like, and he's just like he sees how deathly serious James Gandolfini is. And by the way. James Gandolfini. You can't understate how good of a fucking actor. Not a MAGA kid. guy. Not a MAGA guy. <laughs> First exactly. Off. Not uh, a ma- let's make that clear. <laughs> let's make that clear. And you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Polly Walnuts isn't either. You don't think? I don't want it. The character or the actor? Oh, the actor. I think the character's definitely a yeah, mega yes. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. so, yeah, you know, I think so is Tony. Although Tony could have been a never Trumper. I could see it. No, he wouldn't have been. What I don't know. No, I, well, I know like. for one, th- I know one thing for sure. What? Is that Meadow is like the original neoliberal. Oh, yeah. for sure. For sure. It, she, un- she has so many NPR tote bags. <laughs> it's like insane. And like in this episode when she's defending, it's just like the Congress with Clinton. And by the way, like I think we can go back, uh, like with the benefit of 20 years, yeah, we can be like, the you know what? Maybe Congress was right about Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can easily see that he killed Jeffrey Epstein. I- <laughs> is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Are we bringing that up on this podcast? All right. Go ahead. Um, I think Christopher would be like a weird, like 
not quite like the I think he'd be Yang, yang Gang. gang. Yeah. 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 yeah, Well, AJ's Yang AJ's Gang. AJ's Yang Gang for sure. <laughs> like former Ron Paul guy <laughs> turned Yang Gang. Yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. Um but yeah, uh, uh Janice would definitely be uh a, Jill Stein uh, no, slash yeah, no, uh, Mary Williamson. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But she'd also secretly vote Trump. <laughs> she yeah. would. Yeah, totally. yeah. She'd claim to be Marianne Williamson, but then she'd like yeah, say yeah. something really bad about immigrants. Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. I think Christopher would be a Bernie bro, actually. You like, think so? He, he would in, in 2016. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He would have been a, a one of those Bernie or bust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not voting for that cunt. Like, <laughs> like he would just say that over and over again. Yeah. That's him saying it, not me. I just want to uh-huh. point that out. Um, so Jimmy Altieri. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. it has that scene where he had just gotten uh, released from custody, and he goes straight to Tony's house, right. mm-hmm. and he makes it the most obvious <laughs> you can make it that he is wired up, right? And that hilarious lie about fingerprint scans yeah. off of money is so funny. It's, yeah, <laughs> I mean they do that a lot in the show where it's not like made up forensic stuff. Just like stuff. idiots <laughs> making up technology. Well, I do believe that the cops. That the FBI told him that. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. no. They, he <laughs> fell for that for sure. Right. Just like when AJ fell for the fact that they could trace the DNA from the from the, the, pee, the, in the, from the pee in the pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got our DNA. They got our DNA. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, uh, Jimmy. By the way, Big Pussy too. Like, Paulie could not have made it more obvious that he thinks that Big Pussy is wired mm-hmm. up. And, and like, yeah, if you but were neither big... did Tony. Tony also. Yeah. Right. Being like if you're a big obvious. pussy, you would skip town at that point, that's, right? Yeah. Ding, I mean, yeah. ding, ding. And that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what he did. Okay. And, and and it's one of those things where, with yeah, I guess with big pussy, it's even weirder because at that point you're already suspect and you have to know. And yet he has this scene where he's just like, things are going on, Tony, and it's like, <laughs> what are you doing here? And to me, that part of me goes like, it fits in with the suicide motif a little bit like are these people just like ah oh, fuck it like yeah. are they setting themselves up for death here like because I-, I can't imagine big pussy is naive enough to not think that paulie was trying to get his clothes off because he's wearing a wire so why would he fucking why i just don't get it yeah have has he had a dream yet where they've kind of uh implied that Tony has known for a long time, or is that next episode? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, it's got to be later. in the next. Yeah, next, yeah, yeah. next yeah. episode is the fever dream episode. Is, is it? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Next episode is like just the long, the long fever dream. Uh, it's a good one. It is a fucking great one. Uh, but yeah, um, I, you know, the the whole scene with Jimmy, it was like one of those things where it's like. They used it to set up the fact like it needed to be obvious so that Tony could try to be like, it's not pussy, it's Jimmy. And, you know, like he wants to have every reason not to believe. But yeah, Tony doesn't want to believe that it's pussy anyway. It doesn't even matter. No, for sure. But it was just one of those things where he laid it on so goddamn thick that where he was just like, hey, uh, you know those people we kill in our business? The mafia. (laughs) Do you think that we'll get in trouble? And it's just like, what... It, it, it just read weird to me because I just couldn't yeah. believe that someone would be so obvious. But then again, I mean, this is like that's partly there was an outline for this episode. Yeah. And you kind of got to fit like the no, dialogue sure. to make that plot point work. And they didn't quite make it work. Yeah. But it, also, it, we you have to remember you're dealing with a world. Yeah. Where Tony Soprano is easily the smartest person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. that explains yeah, anything yeah. that's He's, dumb on that's the Sopranos. True. He's got an army of imbeciles. Is there's, like, there's, like, three other smart characters it's in the entirety Syl, of the show. Yeah, Sil seems but smart. But Sil's not smarter than Tony. It's, like, Johnny Sack is almost yeah, as smart as Tony. Johnny Sack, yeah. Uh, and then, like, that's it. Like, there's Hesh. no... Yeah, Hesh. Yeah, Hesh yeah, is smart. Exactly. Because he's smart. Jewish. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're wise, yeah, like yeah, Yoda. Exactly. Yeah. Ju- oh, you guys just did the Hesh episode, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. couple, yeah. The Bokeem, the Bokeem Wood, Bo- 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 Wood Bo- so good. Dude. Yeah, fucking the mass- massive genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, because, you know. I love a, I love a Christopher episode. Oh, yeah. Dude, that fake band 
Oh, oh yeah, so good. So I really good. wish we'd have had Stephen Jenkins on for that oh. episode because I think they were trying to like make it like that was Third Eye Blind or like Tonic yeah, or yeah. Soak or one of those bands. Of that era. I know it ain't your type of music. But Richie and Vito. That was that band's actual song. Which, by the way, is also another suicide thing, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's just like a fucking motif. Well, dude. but that was just big. Like, we were really getting into suicide in the late 90s. Yeah. That's so bad. <laughs> Some good fucking guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the fucking choruses? <laughs> right, we can't talk about that episode. We already did it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, I read the Jimmy Altieri thing is kind of weird because it was just too a little too obvious. But you're right. You're right. Everyone is uh, clinically stupid. Yeah. And everyone surrounding him. The only people as smart as Tony are like Carmella yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. and Hesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I also think that the mafia is a little bit... You know how like in cities, like whatever the cultural perception of that city is, it will eventually become that because people will move there hoping... For for that, mm-hmm. like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you know, if San Francisco is like the, the like the liberal, like obnoxious, uh, obnoxiously like nanny stating kind of place, everybody that wants that's going to move there. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it's the same thing with the mafia, where it's like it, they eventually people, become the Godfather because they're like people well, move yeah, from that's Ohio me. to go to to be professional mafias. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I don't think they do that. But I think I, they're yeah. born into it. You're, you're, you're born into they? the neighborhood. Into the neighborhood. Sure. Yeah, it's like you're surrounded yeah, by it. If you're it. not born into it, you're Brendan Falone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or exactly. those two guys uh, from season oh, two. Oh, my God. Matthew. Idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> The kid who wants to go to Rutgers or <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, is yeah, going yeah, to yeah. Rutgers and Tony thinks he's like yeah. a big success. Now, and he's now like, we look like a couple of jerk offs. <laughs> 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 Oh, I love that fucking uh, guy. In that, when they're working in that boiler room. Oh, yeah. I uh, love that. Oh, God. There's just so much so much good content. That's a great tease up. for future episodes. That is. Yeah. That is. Um, I think, finally, um, the episode ends with the setup of Junior has to whack Tony. Mm-hmm. Well, that Mikey scene is so weird. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so great. It's so baby, <laughs> guess what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to kill Tony. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. tell anybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> it's like, this guy is like just peak asshole. Again. We were supposed to go to Vegas. Aren't you supposed to be making the coffee? Yeah. And she's like... It's a machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone is everyone is clinically fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. He's uh, our friend Brett. We were talking about uh, people living in Phoenix, and he was like world building. His, yeah, like yeah, what yeah. what that's like. And yeah. he's like, his wife has a baby voice and six small dogs that eat on the kitchen table. <laughs> and he is embarrassingly mean to her, despite her seeming not to notice. And <laughs> that was very. That's like Mikey Palmese. Yeah, that's yeah, him. yeah, 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 for sure. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the next episodes in which uh, all of these threads will come together in one way or another. Who knows, dude? Mm-hmm. We don't want to give no spoilers. You get all. Next one is wild. Next one is wild. It's really good. It is. Uh, <laughs> you know, we have our uh, only in dreams segment that uh, there was no dreams in this episode, mm-hmm. but uh, next episode it's almost entirely. The only in dreams episode. Mm-hmm. Do you want to hear like a really long voicemail about uh, pod yourself again that oh, I have pe- not vetted at all? People are leaving voicemails for us. They now? sure are. All right, so yeah. let's do it. All right. Apologies if this is really bad. It, it's two minutes and fourteen seconds Ooh. long, which seems too long. Okay, and we'll cut it if it's bad. Yeah. Don't cut us. Oh hey, um, big fan of the uh, pod yourself again. You know, uh, listen to all the episodes. And I'm really glad you guys are here, because, look, I got something to talk about. I, I can't talk about this with anybody else. But, look, Down Neck, the episode, uh, from the second uh, time I watched the show, you know, second playthrough when you start delving into things, um, the title Down Neck, I always thought it was a waste, you know, and even you guys talk about it on the uh, show, I'm like, what the hell is Down Neck? I always thought the title of that episode should have been Cherry Vanilla. I mean, it's a great... Um, what ties in, you know, because uh, that's what Johnny Boy says whenever he gets back uh, from his little stint, you know, with the cops. He says, hey, I picked up some cherry vanilla. And at the end of the episode, 
uh, Tony and uh, AJ, they have ice cream. You look and see what it is. It's vanilla, and it's got red in it. So you can assume it's cherry vanilla. Ah. And, you know, it's uh, basically like a metaphor for what's going on here. Eh? <laughs> well, we both are young. They have this sort of vanilla idea of life and how it is. <laughs> then we get the cherry mixed in. We get the red mixed in. Whenever we see, uh, or Tony sees uh, his dad kick the shit out of somebody, and then, you know, Meadow uh, gets into AJ's head and everything. So, yeah, I always thought cherry vanilla. And like I said, there's nobody else I could have told but uh, you guys. Also, I feel I should mention in also, uh, the show, uh, the episode Boca, um, I'm pretty sure there's a Beastie Boys reference in there. Whenever uh, uh, Paulie shows up at the coach's house with the TV, and he says, hey, listen here, Guido, and he says, my name is Clarence. <laughs> in uh, Beastie Boys, uh, Paul's Boutique, I can't remember, maybe it's Shake Your Rump, I think, or you know, maybe the other track. They say, uh, you know, is your name Michael Diamond? He says, no, nah, my name's Clarence. So I also uh, always thought that that was a, uh, a Beastie Boys reference there in Boca. But, uh, you know, it's great what you guys are doing, and uh, I go, I'm i gaining insights in this. I had no idea that was David Chase's daughter. Holy shit. I had no idea there was a young Michael B. Jordan in the down neck. Should have been Cherry with Noah episode. So thank you guys for that. All right. Well, hey, you guys take care. My yeah. aunt is in that episode he was talking about. Really? Yeah, she's the uh, pedophile soccer coach's uh, wife. Oh. She's the one who answers the door and is like, huh? This is the first connection we've yeah. ever had. Well, you should have told us so we could have had her on to discuss that. Yeah, episode. this would have been, uh, you know, we would have billed you as, <laughs> you know, the uh, nephew of uh, a actress in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, he said a lot of things there, man, and uh, all of them it's were a good. Good call. Yeah, Cherry yep, Vanilla, yep. good name. Uh, Down Neck has something to do with uh, the geography of uh, of New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Cherry Vanilla, sure, dude. Why not? I'll go with that. And also, uh, the Clarence reference for BC Boys. Okay, I could see that. Uh, also, I feel like there's another thing where someone uses Clarence. I think you're thinking name. of Eight Mile. And his name's Clarence. And oh, Clarence's yeah. parents got a real good marriage. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Spaghetti, yes, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's uh, this guy's a gangster. He goes to private school. His name Clarence. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Which is not like fuck it. I'll go a cappella. Fuck a Papa Doc. Fuck a clock. Fuck, fuck my. I cock, knew this was gonna my... happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna do it. Gonna... Uh, first of all, like Clarence is a pretty gangster name. Yeah, Clarence. Like Clarence it's... is a badass name. Yeah, it's almost as bad mm-hmm. as Ned Rock and Roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Ned Rock and Roll. Yeah, you, you make... want come on the show, Ned Rock and yeah, Roll. If this, you're listening. please, please come on the show, Ned Rock and Roll. Um, yeah. So, uh, what do you think? You put, I think we got enough. Put we this can, episode uh, in bed. Yep. Yeah. Well, I give it a solid B plus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Great episode. Very excited for what's coming up next. It sets up a lot of things. And uh, once again, greatest show on, on earth. Joey Devine. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming Thanks on for the podcast. Me. Uh, what is uh, something you would like to plug? Uh, I have a podcast about the NBA Hell called yeah. Round Ball Rock. Round Ball Rock. Uh, we're also on Patreon where we do an extra episode a week for yeah. only five dollars a month. And last week, uh, we spent two hours with our friend Brendan McGowan uh-huh. trying to decide which NBA owners have been on Jeffrey Epstein's plane. <laughs> <laughs> Probably most of them. No, there were way less than you'd think. Okay, um, okay. Mark Cuban. It, no, we Jer- decided Mark Cuban's a no. He's too low class. He really mm. wanted to be on, but they were like... Jerry Buss. Jerry Buss, for sure. I mean, sure. the Clippers yes. guy, obviously. No, the Clippers guy's a no, and I'll tell you why. What about Donald Sterling? Oh, St- Sterling, Sterling? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, but Balmer, even though he's a Microsoft guy, yeah. we decided... Everyone would remember him immediately, and he'd be in all the depositions. Yeah, if you were just yeah. like a like a guy who's like developers, developers, developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul Allen, <laughs> yeah. no. Paul Allen was a yes. Oh, he was a yes. Ghislaine Maxwell's been on his boat. We know that for a fact. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Well, uh, but like, check that out. Uh, a lot of the like, yeah. the a lot of like uh, mutual fund guys who own like the Sixers and the Hawks yeah. all worked at the same place Jeffrey Epstein oh, did and have Whoa. like yeah the Bucks owners are a yes yeah yeah we go through it all it's cra- it's wild <laughs> holy shit the Bucks are canceled <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah check that out patreon.com/roundballrock
Round Rock Pod. Round Rock Pod. Check it out. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and uh, Vince, great episode. This was fun. And to all of you, oh, I guess, what's the Google Voice number in case? Oh, 415-275-0030. Leave us a message or you can email us at fraughtcast at gmail.com. You can actually uh, record a voice memo on your phone and email it to us. That also works. Yeah, that works as well. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. And until next time, don't stop believing.